up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music and a breakdown zero by the Smashing Pumpkins. Really fun riffs going on here. Uh, also, though, huge shout out and thank you to Boss for sponsoring this video, but also making a killer sounding patch uh, that matches up with this lesson. I'm um, using it right now, and it's for the Boss Katana. So check out the link below to get the free patch download. And of course, check out the Boss Katana because that's what the patch is for. Thanks again, here we go. All right, you wanna tune your guitar down a half step to E flat tuning or just every string down a half step. Then we're gonna play octaves. Now this is an other Smashing Pumpkin song. So this is a uh, Billy Corgan style technique. Uh, third fret A string and fifth fret G string. Everything else is muted. I tend to use, you could use your index and third finger. <laughs> You can see my middle finger naturally is just kind of touching the other strings to mute. You can also do the pinky and it gives you more fingers to mute. You just want to hear this. So even if you strum the whole guitar, you're only hearing those notes. And then the rest adds a little percussiveness. So we're going to go a half step slide down. So that's three and five there. And they both are just locked in like a power chord but it's not a power chord, it's a octave. And then a second time on that slide down. And then the open E string after that. So, so far. So we slide. And then a second strum on that second fret, fourth fret. open E, and then we're gonna do harmonics. And so you wanna aim for the third fret. And in the recording, there's more than one guitar playing, so some are, are still laying into that E. But if you're just a single guitar wanting to play this riff, you're gonna play a harmonic on the third fret, meaning right above, right above the metal fret, not pressing down, just lightly. So above the third, and then right above the fifth. So it's one time there, two times there. So if I uh, turn the distortion off, the two, the repeat's not the same. It goes. So that second time it hits two times on that third and fifth. So altogether you get this little, you know, riff that's not exactly the same. with the overdrive. The second section is using octaves as well, but we're going to start up on the 7th fret A string, 9th fret G. And in between, you're going to chug on that open E string. One, two, 
wanna go for a run. So I'll just refer to the A string because the uh, G string is just a whole step up, moves as a locked in shape. So seven, nine, seven, ten. Nine slid to five, so. The next time, seven, nine, seven, ten, nine slid to 12. One guitar is going back down, but another guitar is doing that. So you could repeat the same thing, or I think it's more interesting if you're playing it by yourself to go. And so that's ninth fret up to 12. So all together. Break. So it doesn't slide up to the 12 on the repeat. It goes to the five. Wanna go for the main riff. There's also a little bridge section. It just hits on the E power chord. You can play it up here. Uh, seventh fret, A string, ninth fret, uh, D. And just two on that last one, right back into it. And so now... The other little alternate on the riff does the third fret A string and then one three on the E string into the open E. So instead of ba da 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 da, it goes. Uh, so that's three, one, two. Like that. So that first alternate lick. So that's what's going on there. Let me show it to you one more time. And it doesn't really do those those which is just the open E anyway, but with harmonics. So a little alternate. Then the second time. So that's three, one, three, two, open E. One, three, three, into the main riff. It's all together. And that's the other part that you want to look for. So have fun with that, you know. Everything else are just little you know, bits of, uh, of what we've already done. All right. Hope you guys dug that lesson. Once again, huge shout out and thank you to boss for sponsoring this video and also making that killer sounding patch 
for the Boss Katana. It's totally free, so check the link in the description below. It'll take you to a page of that patch, but also a bunch of other patches I've made with Boss uh, over the last couple years. Um, they're really fun, and you get those classic tones um, you know, without needing any pedals at all. So check out the Boss Katana. Check out that link below. Hope to see you guys again. We'll see you later.